Wilkinson back with another winner of the GWR short story competition. So are you sitting comfortably for today's Trakanori story? Great, then I will begin. This one is by Freddie Braid Smith, who's nine years old, all about a trip to Florida. Are you ready? Here we go. It was as the GWR train was pulling out of the station that it first caught my eye. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The train station was filling up with water. The train was full of passengers who were expecting to go to Disneyland Paris, so they were all in their holiday clothes. The passengers were all sitting in the seats that the train conductor had shown them to when they heard a loud gushing noise, which was getting louder and louder as the water rushed into the station and was quickly up to the level of the train windows. The children on the train started to get worried and were shouting for help, but their parents just smiled because they knew what was happening and the train station was filling with water on purpose to allow the train to travel through the sea, like a submarine, to where they were going. The stewardesses arrived in each of the train compartments with sweets and drinks for everyone and switched on the iPads on the back of each of the seats for the children to watch cartoons and games during the journey. The voice of the train controller was loud and clear as he explained to everyone what would happen when the passengers were on the train. The journey was expected to take two hours and the passengers would be able to look out of the windows and see the fish close to the train when the train was moving through the sea. Then all of the lights all went out. The train driver couldn't see the controls and had to use a torch to help him to enter the destination onto the computer. But because it was too dark, when he typed in Disney, the computer set the directions for Disneyland Florida instead of Disneyland Paris. No one on the train knew that they were traveling the wrong way. They could see what they were doing in the train from the lights from the screens and from the overhead lights, but they couldn't see outside of the train. The parents started to get worried when they'd been traveling for two hours and had not reached their destination. The train driver looked at the details of the journey on the computer and could see that the train was traveling in the correct direction, but was a long way from the destination. When he checked the destination in the computer, the screen said, Disneyland, Florida. The train driver tried to change the settings on the computer, but the computer wouldn't let him. He was more annoyed than he was embarrassed, but he had to tell the train controller what had gone wrong. The voice of the train controller told everyone that the computer had gone wrong and they were going to Disneyland, Florida. The train controller told everyone that they had enough fuel and food for the journey and they could have a free holiday and a VIP pass for two weeks. Who wouldn't want to go on that train journey?